pose the question, and you'll note that on the order paper, there is a long version of the motion and the abridged version of the motion. So those of you who want to look for details of the longer version, it is there. I now propose the question, which is that pursuant the provisions of Article 145 and 151B and 2 of the Constitution and Standing Order 64 and 65, this House resolves to remove from office by impeachment His Excellency Honorable Rigard Kachagua, EGH, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, on the following grounds. One, gross violation of Articles 10, 2A, B, and C, 27, 4, 73, 1A, 2, and B, 75, 1C, 129, 2, of the Constitution and Articles 147, 1, as read together with Article 131, 2C, and D of the Constitution. Two, gross violation of Articles 174, 1, and 152, 1 of the Constitution by undermining the President and the Cabinet and the effective discharge of the national government's executive mandate. Three, gross violation of Article 6, 2, 10, 2A, 174, 186, 1, 189, 1, and the fourth schedule to the Constitution by undermining devolution. Four, gross violation of Article 161 of the Constitution on the institutional and decisional independence of judges. Five, gross violation of Article 31 and 148, 5A of the Constitution on the fidelity to the oath of office and allegiance. Six, serious reasons to believe that His Excellency the Deputy President has committed crimes under sections 13, 1A, and 62 of the National Cohesion and Integration Act. Seven, serious reasons to believe that His Excellency the Deputy President has committed gross economic crimes under sections 45, 1, 46, 47A, 3, and 48, 1 of the Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act and sections 2, 3, 4, and 7 of the Proceeds of Crime and Anti-Money Laundering Act. Eight, serious reasons to believe that His Excellency the Deputy President has committed crimes by continuously misleading members of the public through false, malicious, divisive, and insightful remarks that are contrary to the provisions of Section 132 of the Penal Code and Section 29 of the Leadership and Integrity Act. Nine, gross misconduct that is incompatible with the high calling and dignified status of the office of the Deputy President, a member of the Cabinet and the National Security Council. His Excellency the Deputy President has publicly attacked and undermined the work of the National Intelligence Service and its officers. 10, gross misconduct by openly and publicly insubordinating the president, who is the head of state and government. And 11, gross misconduct by persistently bullying state and public officers. Honorable members, the motion is supported and the list is attached by 291 members of this house.